Number 13. Jellyfish are the oldest multicellular organisms. When people think about the oldest organisms ever, their minds typically drift towards dinosaurs. However, there are several other organisms alive today that predate dinosaurs by many years. Some of these organisms include sharks, sea turtles, and lobsters. As it turns out, jellyfishes may be the oldest multicellular organisms on the planet. This follows from a discovery of jellyfish fossils found in rocks believed to be over 500 million years old. Further research has shown that they may, in fact, be up to 700 million years old. This makes them the oldest multi-organ animal group. Number 12. Jellyfishes don't have brains. The brain is one of the most important organs in the body of any complex organism. It is a key part of the central nervous system, responsible for coordinating all other major systems like the cardiac system, endocrine system, and digestive system. Most creatures can't survive when their brain is damaged. As it turns out, jellyfish don't have brains at all. Neither do they have hearts or lungs. External nervous stimulus is perceived by a thin layer of cells within the skin. In addition, they have no blood and as such don't need a heart to pump anything. And lastly, they absorb oxygen from their skin and as such, they don't need lungs. Number 11. Jellyfish can clone themselves. When it comes to jellyfish, their regenerative abilities are next level. If you split a jellyfish clean in half, both halves can regenerate completely. And so, similar to cell division, two new creatures will be created where there used to be one. It has been revealed though that the extent to which they can regenerate depends on their diet. Number 10. Jellyfish are mostly composed of water. When it comes to the composition of jellyfish, there really isn't much to them. Humans may be composed of 70% water, but for jellyfish, the figure is much higher. Jellyfish are composed of between 85% to 98% water. And so, if a jellyfish washes up on a beach, chances are, within hours, they will get completely dried up, leaving very little behind. Remember, they are invertebrates that don't have brains, hearts, or lungs. They do have some sort of digestive system in an elementary nervous system. They have a single opening in their bodies that acts as both a mouth and an anus. Number 9. Jellyfish can get as big as blue whales. There are over 200 species of jellyfish in existence. Although they have the same general appearance, these species sometimes vary widely from each other in terms of size color, and so on. The largest jellyfish in the world is a lion's mane jellyfish. They can typically be found in the waters of the Arctic. The largest ever specimen of the species was discovered in Massachusetts and had a bell with a diameter of 7 feet and tentacles around 120 feet long. This species can grow up to 12,000 tentacles per individual. All these factors combined make them as large as blue whales. Number 8. Some species of jellyfish are really venomous. Certain species of jellyfish have venom. This allows them to kill prey as well as protect themselves from predators. One of the most dangerous species of jellyfish to exist is the box jellyfish. The box jellyfish has venom, which is so potent that it can kill 50 people. When human beings are stung, they usually die from shock or drowning before they can get medical attention. Jellyfish kill 20 to 40 people a year in the Philippines alone. Vinegar can help counteract the effects if it is box jellyfish venom, but it isn't effective for other species such as the Portuguese manowar. Number 7. Some jellyfish species are immortal. There are certain species of jellyfish that could live forever if they were not killed by predators or interfered with by human beings. One of these species is known as Tryptosis dordi jellyfish. The way the immortality of the species works is unique. It basically reverses its life cycle. You see, when the Tryptosis dorni grows old, gets injured, or gets too hungry, it simply reverts from its adult form to the baby form, 
known as the polyps. From there, it clones itself, becoming multiple jellyfish that are genetically identical to the first version. Therefore, this is technically immortality, and this jellyfish behaves kind of like the mythical phoenix. Number 6. Jellyfish have traveled into space. To prepare for mankind's interstellar future, space agencies such as NASA, ESA, and JAXA have been performing experiments with Earth life in space for decades now. One of such experiments performed by NASA happened when they took a couple of jellyfish up in space in 1991. The goal of the experiment was to see if these jellyfish could breed appropriately in space and determine if the results would apply to humans. As it happened, the jellyfish fish were able to breathe just fine. However, when the newborn jellyfish were brought to Earth, they started to act strangely. And so, this cast some doubts on whether humans could breed appropriately in space. Number 5. Jellyfish Reproduce Quite Rapidly Jellyfish are experiencing a population boom, so much so that they are beginning to cause disruption and are making scientists really worried. Their high population growth rate is mostly due to the fact that most of their natural predators, such as turtles, seabirds, sharks, and whales, have declining populations. Another reason is global warming. Since the oceans are getting warmer, acidic content is rising, and jellyfish are great at surviving in conditions of pollution. An example of the disruption their high numbers cause can be seen from the power outage they caused in the Philippines after being sucked in into a power plant's cooling pipes. Number 4. Jellyfish are not really fish this might come as a surprise to most people given their name. However, jellyfish are not really fish. This should be obvious from their appearance as they look quite different from most other organisms we call fish. In reality, jellyfish are classified as gelatinous zooplankton. They belong to the phylum Nidaria and are incredibly varied in their taxonomic group that defining what they are is really difficult. Beyond some general and loose definitions, different scientific communities argue about how to classify them. Some scientists say there are about 200,000 species of jellyfish yet to be discovered. Number 3. The jellyfish life cycle has two distinct stages. The life cycle of a jellyfish has five main stages. However, two of those stages are quite visually distinct from each other. The five main stages are planula, polyp, strobula, ephra, and medusa. Of those five stages, the two of which that are the most visually distinct from each other are the adult stage or the medusa, and the polyps or the young jellyfish. The medusa tends to look like a bell with several tentacles attached. However, the polyps tend to look like sea anemones with shorter tentacles that flow up above the main body. Interestingly, both the polyps and the medusa can reproduce. The medusa reproduces using eggs and sperm, while the polyps reproduce by cloning themselves. Number 2. Some jellyfish have teeth. One jellyfish species that is known for having teeth is the baroid comb jellyfish. This unique species of jellyfish has hundreds of rows of teeth made of tiny hairs that can pierce, tear, and pull their prey into their stomachs. This helps them digest their food quicker. When it comes to the jellyfish diet, they're typically carnivorous. Sometimes, though, they are parasitic. They typically feed on planktonic organisms, crustaceans, small fish, fish eggs, and larvae and other jellyfish. Number 1. They are bioluminescent. It is estimated that over 50% of jellyfish species are bioluminescent. This means they have the ability to emit brilliant displays of light from their tissues. Bioluminescence can have many uses, depending on the organism. In some organisms, it's used to attract prey. In other organisms, it's used to attract mates. However, where jellyfish are concerned, bioluminescence is mostly used to ward off predators, and this manifests itself in different ways 
based on the species. For example, jellyfish such as comb jellies produce bright flashes to startle a predator and then make their escape. However, other species such as siphonophores could produce a chain of light or release thousands of glowing particles into the water as a mimic of small plankton to confuse the predator. And then some other species could also produce glowing goo, which they can stick to predators so as to confuse them.